finish this section of the bottle bar. By bottle bar, I mean spirits, bottles of spirits, not beer bottles. So we've got this little section here, which I anticipate is gonna be used for sticking display things on and whatnot. There's another one there, and then the top just goes straight up to the ceiling. And then on the front, we've got some India tea chests. And then all this expanse in the centre for bottles of gin. It's two scaffolding boards deep. So what I'm going to actually do is put together a stand. So the bottles at the back are 200 mil higher than the bottles on the bottom. And then we've also got a centre section where the bottles will be 100 mil higher. So it's a set of, uh, I don't know, Olympic steps, if you like, for the bottles to be displayed at the back. Uh, this shelf here is probably only going to house one-off bottles, expensive stuff, display bottles, that kind of thing. And then the bottom, same as this one, but you're also going to be using this as a mix area. I need to fathom up some type of door situation, you know, kind of Wild West-like for the end of the bar. That kind of thing. Eh? I've got the hinges for it. I just don't have the actual doors. So, might make some, might fabricate some up. Is it essential right away? Probably not. I think uh, we're going to be all right with the clientele we attract. Aren't really going to want to invade the bar space. And uh, over here, we've still got a little bit more of the timber cladding to do. Sam's just in the warehouse splitting up another pallet for me. I've actually got through like four pallets with this bit today. Up here, we need to mount a sheet of steel. And that sheet of steel is going to house uh, all of the beer selection that we've got on little chalkboards with near in ear magnets on the back. That's the plan. I've probably got a lot more timber cladding to do today and uh, maybe make a start on the backboard for the beers. I've also got to put in if I can bring you down this way. We've also got to put in some shelving here. So I want really to take this old shelf out and replace it with something solid, some solid timber. And then we've got some shelving to go in there. Maybe just scaffolding boards or whatever. And I also finished off this section, as you can see, which is where the fridge is gonna go and hide that disaster area of the plaster work. It's a real mess, isn't it? And then also down here, ah, that's probably a job I should do today. I need to fix up this sink and get it plumbed in. Then also put an edge on here so we can varnish it and seal it.
What do you think to that then, folks? So we've got the back bar finally completed. You know, I really like these little shelf stick outs that I've put on. And because the window on the back was not the perfect size and you could see the back of it, I've just extended the trim a little bit to hide it. Kind of, uh, kind of works. If it works, it works. C'est la vie. That will do, that will do. We also got the sink in today and uh, couldn't get the python to chill properly in the cellar uh, for the cask. But as you can see now, we have. Uh, so I'll show you what we did wrong yesterday. I'll just turn all these lights off before I go downstairs. Everything's off and I'll show you. So, oh gosh. Can't see it. There we go. So uh, we spent the day with Rob, a bit of the afternoon, trying to fix um, the solenoid on this secondary chiller for the python, for the cask python. Uh, but it turns out uh, I had to cut into the line, and by mistake, uh, we'd wired up both feeds here on the flow and none on the return so I cut into it and I swapped one of them onto the return they were both on the flow so no pushy no pushy but as you can see now Rob if you're watching buddy you'll be pleased to see check out that temp mate yeah it's probably a little bit low so we know that we seven gets us to about four or five degrees so we'll probably be running this about four or five but she friggin' works, bud. And I also uh, hooked up, look at, them, look at it dripping off here. That's how wet it is, it's freezing. So I also hooked up the gas line to the inlet here and turned it on with 40 PSI and it blew tons of shit out. So the coils were blocked as well, that didn't help. But we are a go, mate, we are a go. So I'm gonna turn all this stuff off we started to form ice in here. This is at minus, well, you can see where we are with that one. Uh, this one I've just been looking. We've got an ice bank in there. That's what we're looking for. This one, got a bit of an ice bank formed. So I'm pleased with them, mate. I'm pleased with them. I'm gonna turn them off. Turn them off until opening day. I also managed to get up here and do the plumbing. There you can see no leaky, no leaky. Ah, I said no leaky. Spotted a drip there. So I'll just nip that up before I go. But I'm gonna wrap it up folks. It's been a productive day. Sam's been a lot of help. Help me get the, uh, the pallet wood on the walls because he's basically split all the pallets. Friggin' rights he did. Good, productive day. Hopefully tomorrow will be the same. We will see you then. Cheers.